Hi, everybody. This is your Three Rock. Here's the start of another episode of Let's Play like Banjo Kazooie. And I'm sorry I couldn't come up with anything what you, what you say, but I just couldn't. Um, you are sitting on, sitting on top of, uh, getting it into Mumble's Mountain. Let's go ahead and into that right now, since that's what we did last episode. We just opened it. Yay! Um,. Yeah, every time you turn your little bottles will come in and tell you that there's a, uh, new move to learn, and they'll explain how they work. Um, how do you get them is you gotta get these, uh, music notes. Uh, you get enough music notes, and, uh, you, uh, you can, uh, purchase them, kind of. You, you basically just need enough music notes and they'll give them to you. I already went into the gingers. If you save each ginger on each level, if we, if we save one of each color of the ginger you see down there, we get a, uh, a few, uh, crap. You get a jiggy for, get, for, uh, getting them. And I can't believe my mind just kind of went blank there for a second. Um, and let's see. Uh, other thing I, th I uh, failed to explain in the last video real quick. Um, if you hit the if you hit the start button on the N64 controls, uh, you get the uh, you get the menu, you get the menu which you can view your totals. You can save and quit, which gives you a game level screen, or you can return to the game. Um, we'll get into some of that later. Um, use the uh, use the R button on the change your direct to, uh, not change your direction, to send the camera behind you. Um, other than that, I think that's all I've got, I've got to mention. Um, that guy will stay a lot, but uh, will get back up. Uh, right here, we get the introduction to honeycomb hives. Uh, if we kill them, we get three honeycomb pieces. Yay! Uh, later on, I believe it's in this game, later on, they'll get some of them get more aggressive. Um, so, it kind of, so it kind of becomes a little, uh, a little oh, what was I trying to do? Um, right here we just have these little spots we, uh, this guy is going to toss uh, oranges at us, and if we strategically place ourselves... We get a jiggy! Yay! Our first jiggy! Well, second, technically. We search for ten of us in each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's tower. Yeah, there's two in each world. I'm trying to turn that counts. Apparently this world returns to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Yeah, I already showed that last episode. Um... I believe we talk to this guy. No? There it is. Chimpy, hey, it's our guy. Damn, Chimpy! Um... Yeah, I believe in order for us to progress, we need to actually get more... Yay! Mm, there he is a little low. I found a 
Uh, I was only this once for uh for a thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you go in the first person view, you can't toss eggs, unfortunately. Uh, they do that in the second game, but they do that in the second game, so it's like, yeah. Uh, as you can tell, I play, I play the second game a lot because it did a lot of much better stuff. I got up, up the game, like, by far. It's, again, it's my favorite of the games. Um, yeah, let's see, we just hit him. And run! Ah! Yeah, we're gonna go get shot. Um, well. Incorrectly. There we go. Oh, 
green ginger. Yay! Green apple is my favorite color, so that's cool. Uh, this one gets next to us. Yay! And this one gets us a jiggy. That gives us our sixth jiggy out of ten. Wow. That's pretty good, actually. Um, look at look at the mumbles. Cat and me, the guy. Um, right here we get me mumbo, best shaman in all game. You can help Banjo fit and filthy prefer that way. Fuck it, that boy! Mumbo is a magic token hit by witch. Fighting tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sight and bring more. Um, actually, something interesting about Mumbo, uh, many people theorize him to be a Jinjo who got that, who, uh, got this, the skull mat, a, uh, skull mask glued on him by, uh, Garden Soda, which explains why he helps us and all sorts of stuff. I think they actually hint, I think they actually hint at it in the game, I can't remember. Uh, honestly, it's been too long since I've played the game. But, um, right here if we time ourselves well enough, and, uh, of course, there we go. This, uh, this one, no, 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 no! Oh, either way, we'll get another Mumbo token and... Yay, let's get go! Um, we're getting an that I think should help us climb this wall soon. Um, we're not an item, we're getting a move, I mean. But in the meantime, we can just kind of, I don't know, again. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're all, are we at the beginning again? Yeah, we're at the beginning. Um, I'll say, I'll say the difference between this man and, the difference between this and Banjo to, to we are huge. I mean, just the sheer scale of Banjo to he makes the game bigger. But, uh, from what I understand, they, they sacrifice graphics for it, which, in my, in my, in my opinion, graphics are next to nothing in the game, and, wow, well, I pushed the wrong button anyway, and it still didn't work out right. Uh, right here's a honeycomb piece. Uh, I don't think there's six honeycomb pieces in each world, though I've never been able to collect them all. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat over that, because they're not really required for 100, 100 percent. Uh, so, let me, let me phrase it, they're not required for 100 percent, just 100, 100 percent. Like, the, like, they're, 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 they don't add anything to the plot or anything if you, uh, miss them. See, there's another. So, we got two other three moves from bottles. Um, yeah, that, that's not transition. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's not much else for us to explore out here, but I did see a door into here. So let's go in there. Hey, I got no bears! Okay, so we get, uh, no. Um, hold up. There we go, got the third one at least. Um, can't climb up these, so I guess we're kind of stuck up here. Um, oh, here we go, another area we haven't gone to yet. One thing I forget you do, uh, do everything you can, you, uh, can do in one area at once. Um, basically, you, basically as a way to keep it, uh, organized. Here's another tricky, by the way. Um, this will help you out a lot because you'll get lost in these areas, not knowing where to go. Especially if you just kind of get like ADD moments, like I like I have, and so you uh, just kind of collect a little stuff here, a little stuff there, and you get lost and trying to figure out where to go. The bear is not enough enough to break the first loop door. So yeah, uh, blue dot probably just fifty. So here we get our fourth mumbo token. Um, there's some more over there. I'll be getting most of the notes and most of the jiggies. I don't think I'm getting 100% in the game. Um, but the time, anyway, the time travel, because we used to slow this with these, and I could probably add some character. <coughs> that sounds useful. How if you do it? Hold Z and press the left Z button. Continue to hold Z while moving to Z around with the control stick. Good practice. Oh, baby, there's nothing more I can teach you in this world. Yeah, okay, so if you hold Z and press left, so you can do the, the, the talent trial. Uh, in addition to that, you 
you move faster. It's also gives you the ability to climb up some deep slope that you can't normally climb up with that banjo. Um, as you notice, you can also uh, turn the control, uh, control the camera while you're in this mode as well. Um, no, I'll take more of that. Yay! That gives us eight jiggies. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah, I couldn't resist myself there. Um, yeah, we almost got all the jiggies in this area. <coughs> um, I'm going to more than I should continue this whole video and just get the last two jiggies, because it's not, it's probably not that much more. Though we are 17 minutes in, though. Um, but anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go ahead and continue at least, uh, because, again, we only have, like, two more left. Um, one of them's going to require us using Mumbo's ability, that's for sure. Uh, but anyway, the time trauma can now climb up this area more. But we can't climb up here. We can't climb up that steep slope. So, we're going to need, uh, we're going to need something from Mumbo, so we need to find that other, uh, token. This looks a swap. And yay! We got one we got one more jiggy left. Yay! And I'm not even trying to speed run through this either. That's just kind of... <laughs> yeah. I, I assure you the game... The, uh... Those get slightly bigger and a little harder to get jiggy. So they're not just all out there. Um... I think we've almost got all, on, all 100 notes, too. Um... Jiggy, so I'll get the jiggy in here, 
which is probably the last jiggy, they actually did the last jiggy in this world, and uh, in the video I've seen that other jiggy, and uh, also showing off something else that's kind of, that's kind of key, um, ah, Banjo has Bungie Dokken, stand on skull and press B to see Mighty Noble Magic, and you see the switch goes down now, I'll just press B, I always like that. <coughs> Mumbo's magic food to change back to you come out, you come when ready. The tournament's a bit small, but not bad for first spell. Um, the tournament can climb up steeper, even steeper slopes than the talent trot. Yeah, go figure. That's that's amazing. Um, a to jump with the tournament, uh, can't attack, so it's really vulnerable, but we've pretty much wiped out almost every enemy in this area, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, Anyway, what we can do now is, whoa, 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 Ooh, almost fell down there, is climb up this slope, which we couldn't climb up earlier, then climb up here, uh, just jump there, let's try it again. Fortunately, this isn't that big of a area, so it's not going to be like, okay, uh, that's going to get annoying if it's going to happen like that, and I might end up, I might end up having to cut. Uh... Wait for the camera. De no. Come on, Banjo. I know you can do it. Um. Come on. And there we go. Okay. We almost. We're almost there. Yay! We got up here, and the termites won't attack us when we're in here. Hey, where did where did you get the shorts? I don't want them. Hello! I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help but point out that so, at some reason that sounded like Mickey Mouse. Uh, can I kill backpack? Or else? Or else what? You're not going to attack us. You're not programmed to attack us. And we just climb out here. Uh, so yeah, we've almost got everything in this world. Just one more jiggy and ooh, look, uh, one up. Step seven, yay! And we get the last jiggy by going on the top, highest point of the game, or in the level. Yay! And I don't think we take damage. Ooh, victory music. We got all, we got everything in this world. Uh, basically that's just victory music for getting all the jiggy. So, what, what I'm going to, I think we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and leave the world real quick. Um, and I'm probably expecting this to like, just all make transform when we leave, we'll come back advantage of Oh, look, no, we're not. Which is magic stops you taking the notes off the world. With the hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get a hundred on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Um, anyway, we can leave the termites climb up here. And as you know, we didn't change back, so that's kind of weird. Uh, well, I guess we could play as termites forever then. Or we could just go back to the moments and change. One will magic get weak, and we'll turn back or magic go. Eh, whatever. I'm sure we'll, oh, look, we transform back. <laughs> Mumble magic go, I'm back to Baron Bird now. Yay! Uh, the way you can do is you can also go back to Mumble's Mount, Mumble's Mount and change back manually. Um, but anyway, I think, uh, actually, I think this is a pretty good start for, for this. So, um, the Brothers Den, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, occasionally you'll see Grunty, uh, commentate while you're in the castle. But anyway, um, with, that, with all that said, I think we're going to end the, end the video off here for now. So in the next episode, uh, we'll go into the next area of, the, of Grunty's castle and get into the next uh, level. Um, hopefully it won't be a, hopefully I won't go as long as I did this time. I know 25 minutes is a long time for a lot of people to bear, but I figure, uh, <laughs> get it, bear? <laughs> Unintentional pun for the win! I oh, know, it's very bad. I'm not Cherry Conroy. Stop laughing at me. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that, that kind of pitiful, uh, pitiful acting there. I'm, I'm going to end the video off here for now, but in the next episode, we'll be going up this hill. Actually, we'll go ahead and go up this hill. And we'll be opening up this door right over there, talking to bottles there, and, you know, we'll go ahead and just beat this up real quick. So, with all that said, um, oops. Oh, uh, well, he's going to guess and tell us it's a note door. Oh, uh, we already know that. Open up the Gandars. It's not that simple. Press 
the opening must be like the musical notes from the world. I've already explained that. Underneath, the numbers on the door, the strings of the spell, the combined total, all your best notes scores from the world must be at least this to break Gun Gunty's magic. So that's good. We don't have to get we don't have to get fifty in each world or in, wh in whatever world's next, so we only have to get a combined total, so that's always good. But anyway, in the next episode, we'll be going through that door. Getting into the second area and getting closer to saving our sister 2D. Until then, I'll see you guys later.